Hello, my name is Leslie Crawley and I would like to welcome you to this special VE Day service led by Wendy Edwards. Please enjoy the service and stay in touch by following us on Facebook and our website. <laughs> Welcome. My name is Wendy Edwards, Licensed Lay Minister. Today we remember the 75th anniversary of VE Day, when the sounds of war fell silent in Europe. We remember the soldiers, sailors and aircrew and many others who have died or been injured physically, mentally or emotionally in wartime and in peacetime. We gather online with thanks for the peace we have enjoyed since the Second World War. But as the world now battles coronavirus, we feel sadness for all those who have died and all who continue to suffer in many ways in this worldwide war against illness. We see chances to change ourselves and be better, more thankful, more loving people. We give thanks for the laughter and the rainbows. To have a rainbow, we must have rain and sunshine. I think that all of life is sadness and joy mixed up together. It was that way in the Second World War. It is that way now. We pray above all that God's will is done on earth today, as it is in heaven, as we join our voices together and sing, Praise my soul, the King of heaven. <laughs> We had all hoped that this VE Day Bank Holiday Weekend, all our churches and cathedrals would resound with hymns like the one we just sang. However, we are in COVID-19 lockdown. We are missing our friends, school friends and loved ones. We are afraid. Some of us are very lonely or working incredibly hard to keep others safe. We are doing without things we normally enjoy. 
We are feeling uncertain when or how it will all end. All of this and more happened in World War II, when this country was at war with Germany. On Friday just gone, and today, we celebrate the end of that war in Europe on 8th May 1945. However, many millions had lost their lives, and many were still overseas fighting as the war against Japan continued. You may struggle to believe that World War II was worse than coronavirus, but it was. Our churches are closed now, but they are not being destroyed by German bombs, nor are we destroying churches in Germany with our bombs. Apart from cobwebs and maybe a few bats, our churches will be fine when we can go inside them again. We may be missing our friends and family, but many of us have mobile phones and internet access. In World War II, telegrams and Morse code messages were much slower the telephone, if you were lucky enough to own one, was a lifeline then and now. Rationing of food in the war, meaning you couldn't get as much food as you wanted and couldn't buy certain types of food at all, was much worse than the few things we cannot get in our shops now. Families may be parted now, but evacuation in 1939 was worse. That word evacuation in wartime means to get people out of a place, usually a dangerous place. Mothers and children were moved from places where bombs might have fallen on them to country areas which were safer. There was no FaceTime or Skype to keep in touch and see your family's faces. The children were cared for by families they'd never met, in places they'd never been to before, and the families were not always kind to them, but mostly they were. My mother-in-law, Hazel Edwards, was seven years old when the war started. She lived on a village farm in Dorset. She told me a true story about a young boy, David, an evacuee, that's somebody who was evacuated, who stayed with them. Hazel said, in September 1939, anyone in our village who had a spare room had to take evacuees, and they mostly came from Lewisham. They brought fleas and different ball and skipping games. I was upset about David moving in as I had just been given a room of my own again. When David came, I had to give him my room and go back to sharing a room bedroom with my sisters, Benita and Nancy. When Hazel's mum went to tuck David into bed on his first night, he had his pyjamas over his day clothes. He had never worn pyjamas before because his family was so poor. His two sisters lived just up the road from the farm with another lady. Because there were no bombs dropped at all for many months in 1939 and the early part of 1940, part of the war called the Phony War, over half of the children evacuated went back to their homes in dangerous places. They missed their families and their families missed them. And some people didn't believe there was any danger. The evacuee boy David and his two sisters didn't stay long in Dorset. They returned to their parents. But very sadly, later in 1940, when bombs did start to fall on Lewisham, David and his family were killed by a bomb. Even though it was difficult to stay where they were unhappy, they may not have died if, they'd not, if they had stayed in Dorset. David and his sisters were really in something like lockdown now. It was safer for them, but they didn't like it. We must now in 2020 keep following the lockdown rules very carefully, even if we're finding things difficult. The time will pass, keeping everyone safe, even if that is uncomfortable, for a little longer is the most important thing. My name is Lance Corporal Bibbings from A Company, 4th Battalion, Princess of Wales Royal Regiment. Today I'll be conducting a reading from John, Chapter 15, 
verses 13 through 17. Jesus said to his disciples, The greatest love a person can have for his friends is to give his life for them. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because servants do not know what their master is doing. Instead, I call you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, I chose you and appointed you to go and bear much fruit, the kind of fruit that endures. And so the Father will give you whatever you ask of him in my name. This, then, is what I command you. Love one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May I speak in the name of the living God, who is and was and is to come. Amen. Jesus talks to us as well as to his disciples in the Gospel reading. In good times and bad, we should love one another, maybe especially in bad times. Jesus is not talking about sexual love. Well, I don't think he is. There are so many other sorts of love. What does love look like in May 2020? Maybe a cheering rainbow, a FaceTime call with your friends, a box of food when being shielded from coronavirus, a face mask or hand sanitizer the sight of your loved one who came out of hospital alive. How about Captain Tom and the many people who gave money to his appeal? A crazily simple and safe way to raise money. Everyone, however old or young, rich or poor, can give their love to someone else right now. What does love sound like? There must be thousands of answers. Maybe the claps for carers or the beautiful music T.S. Swiftshaw cadets have made for us or a friendly, hello, how are you, on the telephone or in a voicemail message. What does love feel like? Maybe the main thing we look forward to feeling are hugs and kisses from loved ones and friends we cannot see or visit at the moment. We might miss the feel of our school uniform, but we might not. We feel love in our hearts when others do kind things for us, or when we do kind things for others. If you're a fish in a river, you'd feel and taste the love as cleaner water now that our rivers are less polluted in lockdown. Jesus didn't just mean us to love other humans and animals we know, but also to love other humans and animals in faraway places in our world too, by stopping climate change. Jesus says that the person who gives their life, who dies for their friends, shows the greatest love possible. When Jesus was saying these words to his followers, it was just before he died on a cross, before he rose again to new life on the first Easter Sunday. Just over 450,000 people died here in the UK in World War II. Worldwide in World War II, between 70 and 85 million people died. Many, many of these deaths, especially of people in the armed services and the volunteer forces, showed the sort of love which Jesus is talking about, the giving of your life that others may live. Some very brave people who have died in the coronavirus pandemic have died saving other people's lives. Their love in life and death also shows the greatest love, says Jesus. We do not all have to give as much as our life, though. Following government advice and keeping away from friends and family is loving to everyone. Not going to school or to work or parade nights, training or the gym, pub or a church service. These also are loving to everyone by giving up a little of the life we enjoy. Jesus says he will be with us. God will be with us and other people will be with us when we give and receive love from one another. Jesus is saying... You will make fruit, good, sweet things, out of love, if you love one another. You'll never walk alone if you love one another. So let's not be slow. As Stevie Wonder sang about love in his wonderful song, Love's in Need of Love Today, don't delay, send yours in right away. Amen. Memories of a 12-year-old evacuee.
by Jack Woods. The war is won, it's BE day, a wild excitement fills the air. Grown ups busy, children play, amongst the tables standing there. In roads bedecked with myriad flags and bunting high across the streets, women dressed in their best rags hold tables high with things to eat. Men pull rafters from a bomb site, building a gigantic fire. Hitler standing very upright, waiting for his funeral pyre. Ernie plays the old Joanna, favourite tunes that won the war. Any song for just a tanner, money goes to help the poor. Beer and whiskey flow like water, hoarded for this special day. Young men hang round Charlie's daughter, pretty as the flowers in May. Darkness falls, they light the fire. Flaming fingers reach the top. Adolf sitting in a tyre, burns until his head goes pop. Dance and singing follow after, Oki koki conga too. Food and drink and lots of laughter. Oh, it was the perfect do. So our super day has ended. Heads are aching, feet are sore. Still at least they'll soon be mended. Different from those that's in the war. As we think about the 75th anniversary of VE Day, let us pray to God, the giver of peace to the world. At the end of each short prayer, we will say together, Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, we thank you for all those who fought to bring peace during the Second World War, and we remember them with pride and with honour. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember with pride and honour all those who died in the violence of that war and we pray for them and their families. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you that peace did eventually come. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those people who live in areas of our world that are affected by war today and we pray that peace will come to those areas. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the members of the armed forces who are in danger today and who are fighting to bring peace to our world. We remember their families and their friends and all who pray for their safe return. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who work to try to make our world a more peaceful place. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the leaders of the world will work towards ending injustice and war and will work to solve the problems of the world by peaceful means. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we will all learn to love one another, that we will all learn to care for one another and we will show kindness and offer friendship to all people whom we meet. Lord, hear our prayer. Dear God, we pray that you will help us all to do our bit in creating peace wherever we are. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, we will all join together to say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory ever and ever. Amen. my shepherd I'll not want he makes me short prayers, a blessing and the national anthem to end this service. We send our grateful thanks to Lance Corporal Bibbings of the Princess of Wales Royal Regiment and to the cadets of T.S. Swiftshaw for their contributions to our service, including the poem. And we thank you all for joining us today. Lord Jesus Christ, you taught us to love one another. In this time of fear, Give us strength to love others in all sorts of different ways, as you loved us. May we celebrate this VE Day in safety and be grateful for the lives given in love by so many people, so that we may live in peace today. We pray to God to give peace in the church, peace in the world, peace in our homes and peace in our hearts, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, yeah.
final blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. And the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again. his heart.